Hi, this is Bruno. Thank you for listening to the song and my review in this channel. This LP vinyl is Beethoven, Symphony No. 7 in A major, OP No. 92, the third movement. Leonard Bernstein conducted and New York Philharmonic Orchestra performed. This vinyl was released on the Columbia Masterworks label in 1975 and the condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Notemandy Phono Super 59Z vintage tube turntable made in West Germany in 1959 and still it is working beautifully. Tonight I hope to talk about Beethoven and his symphonies. Ludwig van Beethoven stands as a titan in the history of Western music. His symphonies represent a cornerstone of the orchestra repertoire, revolutionizing the form with his innovative spirit and emotional intensity. I will talk about Beethoven's journey as a symphonist and examine his compositional development and the lasting impact on his works on the genre. Beethoven's formative years was heavily influenced by the music of Haydn and Mozart, the leading composers of the classical period. His early symphonies composed between 1787 and 1800 Symphonies 1 and 2 reflect this influence, adhering to the established four-movement structure and showcasing a youthful exuberance. The turning point in Beethoven's symphony journey arrived with his Symphony No. 3 in E-flat major, op. No. 55, popularly known as the Eroica. This monumental work premiered in 1803, defied expectations. Beethoven expanded the symphony's length, introduced innovative formal structures, and explored a wider, wider range of emotions. The Eroica marked a conscious break from the classical style and paved the way for Romanticism in orchestra work. Beethoven's Middle Symphonies, number 8, actually number 4 to 8, display a profound engagement with human experience. Symphony number 5 in C major, actually in C minor, op. number 67, with its iconic fate motif and triumphant finale, embodies the struggle and eventual victory over adversity. Symphony No. 6 in F major, Op. No. 68, Pastoral, offers a serene depiction of nature, while Symphony No. 7 in A major, Op. No. 92, 
pulsates with energy and vitality. These middle symphonies, though diverse in character, showcase Beethoven's ability to express a wide range of human emotions through orchestral music. The final phase of Beethoven's symphonic journey witnessed a further transformation in his style. His last three symphonies reflect a profound explanation of philosophical and emotional themes. Symphony No. 9 in D minor, Op. No. 125, with its groundbreaking inclusion of choral verses and the auto joy text, stands as a monument to human unity and brotherhood. Beethoven's influence on orchestral music is immeasurable. He, he redefined the symphony by expanding the emotional range. His incorporated moments of profound lyricism, dramatic intensity, and introspective reflection within his symphonies, lengthening and formal innovation. Beethoven's later symphonies pushed the boundaries of established form exploring new possibilities for orchestral development. Elevating technical demands, his symphonies challenged the capabilities of orchestras, demanding greater virtuosity from musicians. Following Beethoven, composers like Brahms, Tchaikovsky, Mahler grappled with his legacy, each forging their own path while acknowledging his influence. These composers built upon the foundation led by Beethoven and their works continue to enrich the symphonic repertoire. Today, Beethoven's symphonies remain cornerstones of the orchestral repertoire. Audiences continue to be captivated by their emotional depth, dramatic power, and innovative structures. Composers and Performers throughout history have drawn inspiration from Beethoven, ensuring his legacy as a revolutionary figure in the history of orchestral music. Thank you for listening to the song and my review in this channel once again, and I hope you had a pleasant time. See you next time. Bye.